Yeah, it's uh, 9 o'clock. I won't keep people here all night long, so we'll go ahead and get started and uh, start recording. People can listen to this on YouTube. Um, we'll just start off with like a general overview of the Acolytes. Many people in here, I believe, well, uh, there's some newer people in here, but just to give you a general idea, uh, I started the Acolytes around 15 years ago-ish, roughly around 2005, uh, for an MMO named Age of Conan, and... Uh, it's kind of obviously grown since then. We've been in various MMOs over the years with various guild leaders over the past 15 years. Um, at the moment, we're in, I believe, four. So we're in WoW Classic, WoW Retail, Crowfall, New World, uh, actually five, Arc Age, um, kind of the original Arc Age at the moment. So that's kind of just a brief overview. We're kind of more of like a gaming community, more so than just one guild. Uh, we do kind of base ourselves off of building guilds within games that kind of form into a community versus the opposite. Um, you know, we want to go into a game with a strong guild with people on each night to play, do dungeons, raids, etc. And from that, you know, it kind of builds into a community over the years. As I know, many people have been in here, like uh, Majuk's one of them. It's been here for many, many years. Naboo's been here for many, many years. We've been through many games. So the idea is, over the years, new games come out. People will continue playing their original game that they joined us for, but we'll also get new people, and some people cross over it in some newer future games, and that's kind of whole community process rolls into itself. Uh, once in a while, we do have some sort of community giveaways. Um, so again, keep an eye on Discord for that. Um, most of you know me. Um, I'm Fat Goat, for those that don't know. Most people call me Goat. Depending on how long you've been here, uh, I've been called various other names. But uh, these years, it seems to be Goat. So I'm kind of the leader of the WoW Retail Guild at the moment. I'm kind of the overall leader of the community, I guess you could say. Uh, we, have, Like I said, we have various guild leaders for each of our games, and I kind of oversee and help those guys out with recruitment or anything else they might need um, over time. So to get into retail, well, might as well start with our officers here, uh, Mangy and Naboo and James. Uh, Mangy is kind of, he's one of our main tanks uh, for our raid, and he's been super helpful um, since we've kind of created the guild uh, I might step back a little bit. We've only had the retail guild in WoW for almost maybe a year now. Uh, we were never in WoW retail previously. And over this past year, we've kind of started and grown it. And it's grown quite well, to be honest. So Mangy's been super helpful. Naboo is the same. He's been super helpful with uh, getting people to run things and that and whatnot. And James is our raid leader. So, and he's uh, an amazing person. Just ask Majuk. Um... Mangy, Naboo, or James, is there anything you guys want to address to the guild? Nah, I'm good. Nipples. Nipples it is. I like bacon. Mangy likes baconators, yes. I'm and... the source of that meat. <laughs> I guess I'm a degenerate, but that's all you get from me. There you go. <laughs> You've heard his voice, now you know who he is. There you go. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so we can move right along. There's some stuff about Discord. Discord's kind of our main hub of communication. You'll see in game, I kind of spam in guild chat uh, every so often, or a lot, that we have announcements and raids and whatnot in Discord. So it's pretty important to keep an eye on Discord. Uh, we'll ping people for big, big items, but something we did do is there are various text channels for WoW Retail that are hidden based off of certain roles. So if you go into the uh, the text channel retail underscore guild underscore info, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff there at the bottom. There's a retail tag. There's a retail mythics, uh, PVP, tanks, and healers. And if you choose one of those roles, it'll unlock or unhide one of the text channels in Discord. We kind of figured that way, you know, it kind of removes some of the clutter within Discord because we do have a lot of channels already being in multiple games. So we don't want to overburden people with a bunch of channels. So if you wanted to see certain channels, you can go choose those yourself. An example was the Retail Wild Mythics. Uh, don't be afraid to ping that role because people chose that role to be pinged. Uh, if you need a healer for a dungeon or a DPS or a tank, feel free to ping that role at any time. So people want to get pinged because they're not always in game um, and they might want to come help you run a dungeon. It'll be more heavily used. Quite right. Right. Yeah, as yeah, Mangy was saying there, yeah, yeah, it'll get used a lot more probably in Shadowlands once we get 
into the, the expansion thing. Um, let's see. So the other probably next thing with Discord is I'm sure you all saw, but we're gonna run one more Nihilotha normal raid on Tuesday, November seventeenth, which is a week from tomorrow. So if you haven't signed up, there is a, another text channel named Retail Upcoming Raids on the left hand side. Um, we've actually got quite a few already. We've got thirteen ish or so already signed up for that, which is good. Um, this is kind of the sign up method we're going to use in Shadowlands. So if people want to get used to that, uh, it just helps people like James know what we're going to have ahead of time once we get in Shadowlands. Because if any of you have raid lad or raid, it's kind of hectic not knowing or knowing who's going to be there, who's not going to be there right at the at raid time, you know. And then since we're talking about raids, the only other thing I wanted to mention was um, also in that retail upcoming raids channel is all of our raid information that James wrote up. So it discusses our raid times. You know, there'll be Tuesday and Thursdays from 7 to 10 p.m. PST for Shadowlands and any other raiding rules uh, expectations. Um, you know, we're not we're not a guild that's, you know, hardcore. We're not going to be calling people at two o'clock in the morning for world bosses or anything like that. But, you know, we do expect people to try and improve themselves, you know, within the game. And we're always here to help myself, Mangy, Naboo, James. Everybody's willing to run any dungeons anybody needs or Torghast or any of that. So, um, you know, we get stuff done, but we have a good time along the way. Um, I think that's all I had here on my agenda. Was there anybody in here that had any questions or comments or anything about Shadowlands? Um, one thing I'll add as raid lead, and I will emphasize this, if you intend to raid in Shadowlands, please, please, please take the three minutes it will take from your life to read the rules. Um, because they will be enforced very strongly. Especially for people who um, are, are curious about how we intend to progress. Uh, it's very much like Naboo said. Um, we do want to have fun, but we're gonna. We're also there to get it done, which also means that performance is important. Um, so, you know, please, please, please read the the rules on the retail raid channel if you intend on raiding. Uh, yeah, I'll back that up with 100% um, what James said. Uh, but we all are a community here, right? So, the guild is not the raid and the raid is not the guild we are um together as one team of course but there's there's plenty of our casual friends out there um people who just log on once a week and just chill out and whatnot we're there for you too right we're we're one guild and we want to do stuff together and have a good time so don't be frightened don't be scared to log on and feel like you have no place to go or no nobody to play with because we're here for you too just know that um, some of us that have been around a while, especially in WoW, will be you know a little more dedicated to raiding. But I'm like Goat said, I'm I'm up for running anything at any time, and I have a lot of characters, so I'll uh, tank, I'll heal, I'll do whatever to help people out. Especially when Shadowlands comes, it'll be a whole new experience for everybody, learning the new story, getting. Uh, yeah, off. I think you got cut off okay. there a little bit there, Nidibu, but I think we, we know the gist where you're going with that there. Yeah, I had to make sure it wasn't just me that got cut off. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, uh, what James and Nibu said and, uh, you know, Man Manji was talking about earlier, it's, uh, it's all key. You know, like I said, we're, we're a guild here. Obviously, you don't have to raid, uh, but, you know, since we are... A guild that wants to progress in the game and provide, uh, you know, various outlets for people. It's something we do focus on. And, um, yeah, we're here to help out people wherever they need it. And Naboo, yeah, by Naboo saying he has a few characters, that's like 32, I think, or something like that. But, <laughs> something. Yeah, something along those lines. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, as... Uh, sorry, puppy. Um, as 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 Nubu was mentioning, we we are a community as as a whole, um, and each of us have sort of our own area where we specialize in. Um, so if you have any questions regarding specific things like classes or raids, um, 
myself or Naboo are really good people to go to if you have any questions regarding uh, community or uh, upcoming events or anything like that. Uh, Fat Goat and Mangy excel at doing that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, the officers are here to help oversight as well as make sure that people feel completely um, completely at home and comfortable with uh, everything across the board. So, like, don't be afraid to ask for help with BS or healing or anything like that, even if you're a casual player. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, good point, James. And that also kind of ties in, you know, don't don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, that's also why we set up those uh, text channels here in Discord. You know, we have one for DPSers, healers, PvP. Uh, you know, don't ever hesitate to ask questions. We got people in Discord pretty much all day long while we're supposedly quote-unquote working. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to ask questions in there. People always answer and help you out however they can. And uh, yeah, just to reiterate uh, that the retail upcoming raids is where the raid um, information is. People want to make sure they check that out. And also, I did note I did mention that we have raids on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I foresee I don't have anything concrete in plan yet, but I do foresee I will you know myself or somebody will probably run like an alt raid or something on a weekend or something uh, once people once we get to that point but nothing's confirmed on that because i know we might have some people that may want to raid but can't really make those times so we'll try and do whatever we can you know going forward uh provide something for people that may only be able to attend something more on the weekends so i know we're across the what was that Meiji? oh sure. oh. um Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll say I know we're across the multiple times. Feel bad if you can't make the quote on main raid unquote, because um, we'll get some runs for pretty much every. Might take a little bit of time. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Did anybody else have any questions or comments they wanted to bring up? Um, anything in regarding peaches or the state of Georgia? <laughs> No, I plead the fifth. <laughs> it's been recorded. Yeah, I'm more so interested. Like, what's everyone's thoughts and like schedule is going to be for like launch? Oh, okay. I'm curious, like yeah. how how we'll be able to man dungeon runs and all that fun stuff. Like, is I'm honestly debating taking the week off work. I already yeah. got it off. Nice. I wish I could, but I can't. Right. Oh, that ties into something else. Yeah, we can probably, once we get a little closer, people might know and, you know, feel free to put it in Discord. But uh, we do know the launch is over the holidays, right? Thanksgiving uh, going into December. So, you know, we do keep that in mind. We're not going to ask people to, like, skip out on their families or anything like that. So, I mean, people will be on when they can get on. Um, you know, we'll just, we'll just do the best as a guild uh, that we can, you know, and go from there. On that topic... Uh, to add to that as well, uh, we will be raiding the first week, so the 8th when the raid drops, um, we will raid that week. However, the following weeks, uh, we will be um, postponing them. People can pug them as they see feet, so, uh, fit and stuff like that, just so it doesn't, again, interfere with anybody's schedules or plans or anything like that. Um, but right at the start of January, we'll be getting back into it. There we go. Good to hear. And yeah, like James said, you know, maybe we don't have people around or enough people, you know, I, I can start up a, a pug or we can get stuff going for sure uh, on those weeks after the 8th and before January for sure. But yeah, we'll play by ear since it's obviously around the holidays and yeah, it gets, really, gets a little tricky. Really awkward launch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of more so like the goal of my question. Thoughts. Gotcha. I'm still glad they delayed it though, rather than releasing yeah. a broken game. Right. For sure. Yeah, it didn't sound thought. As um as uh Goat mentioned, if anyone has any questions or anything or literally about anything, it doesn't have to just be about rating, it could be about our goals in the future, um our recruitment plans. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask them while we're all here. How do I tank gooder? 
Uh, ask <laughs> Mangy, but make sure that he's using a source that's not his own. Don't don't, don't play Druid. I just like hit things Ooh. and then try not to die and, and rely on the healers. Sounds legit. Tink tinking 101. Do we have a list of who's doing what as far as professions? Uh, we Discord. do. Beef, that's a great question. Uh, we do. And let me see. If you guys want to look in retail WoW text channel at the moment, uh, for those that are listening at home on YouTube later, you can go into Discord and type exclamation crafters. Uh, thank you, Scott, for the assist there. Uh, at the moment, we are kind of looking for some more people for some of these crafts. Uh, if you want to take a look at you know, just my personal opinion, I figured we'd have at least two or three uh, of each craft, but, you know, we can kind of go from there. But you can see we still need a few more spots for people. So, And to add on to that, if you are ever curious as to how you can help without needing to pick up a primary profession, because maybe you don't have the time, fishing, or fishing and herbalism are always in need the entire expansion. Um, so feel free to Yay. do those if you ever feel like you want to assist the guild without focusing on a primary craft. That uh, would Shadow be me. Shadowlands crafting is changing uh, quite a bit from what we're used to in BFA and even from Legion. So yeah, uh, there'll be lots of needs for lots of different crafts now. So yeah, it'll be it'll be very important. They're bringing back grindstones. They're bringing back uh, other other consumables and buff items and stuff like that to augment the characters, which all will be important. Jewel crafting will be important again, and will be um, because now you can actually force uh, jewels onto your equipment through Torghast. So everything is wanted. Everything is needed. Um, but if you want to just go with an easy default, herbalism and fishing. Yep. Very good points for sure. Yeah, it's definitely like uh, Nabu and James mentioned is kind of changing a little bit with crafting. Uh, we want to be able to provide, you know, materials like uh, you know flasks, uh, sharpening stones, etc. You know, um, for our raids. And you know, if you don't want to get into a craft like James was saying, yeah, just pick up some uh, some herbalism and fishing and all that good stuff. We'll probably be uh, managing the guild bank together as an officer corps. Um, I know I've cleaned it up, and I just want to make it useful for everybody. So come Shadowlands, we'll make the tabs really easy to read, what you can grab out of there, who can grab stuff out of there. There might be a raid tab just for raiders only, but then a kind of a general guild tab too, just for like food and stuff that people might need. So it'll be good. Yep, and with us keeping an eye on it... Um... One great thing about having a lot of people investing in the guild and whatnot means that if we have an overflow of materials and ingredients, uh, if we that stuff from the raid tab will shift out into a different tab for other people to take and whatnot. Um, so keep that in mind. None, uh, nothing you put in there will go to waste. Definitely, definitely. Correct. It will be sold for guild repairs or used in consumables. Mm -hmm. And uh, props to Nibu for doing a great job shif shuffling through the uh, menace that is the guild bank. It takes forever. <laughs> Cause, there was a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, on top of that is that on the server side, uh, the guild bank is server side, and it's really slow. <laughs> yeah. What are, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on, like, fun, random side activities as things settle down, mm -hmm. like... Fishing tournaments, MOG competitions, dueling, nonsense tournaments and stuff, like competitions. Maybe um, ERP. Competitive, but like fun things. Yeah. RP, uh, yeah, RP I, is an old grandma witch, like whatever. I can I can take this first. Um, all of those things are things that we definitely want to do. Um, I know I'm a big, propo uh, big uh, supporter of um, transmog runs. I love doing transmog runs and uh, old achievement runs for mounts and stuff. Um, so that's something I intend to do and try to run consistently per week. Um, as far as fishing tournaments go, um, we are tossing around the idea of doing like gathering weeks, like uh, where we all get together and chill out and like um, hang out and run around and do gathering. And whoever ends up getting the most of X material or something like that 
uh, can will get something. Um, PvP tournaments are something that we can, can consider. Um, not not very many people so far have been super into PvP, but I know myself and one other person is. Um, and that's all I've got, so if anyone else has anything to add to that. Or Frost um, likes PvP. Yeah, Frost is our PvP expert, so he, uh, he'll he'll be heading it up, I think, once we go live and uh, leading everybody to to the goal goal line there, you know, sports ball. You tried. You tried. Um, it. <laughs> definitely one thing that would be really fun to also do is, like, um, uh, Orgrimmar sieges and things like that, and just, you know, uh, or one thing that Acolytes used to do is on Friday nights, um, what's it called? Something boobs haru. <laughs> uh, I don't remember exactly, but TBH. <laughs> yeah, TBH. Um, D D yeah. That's, right. that's the one other thing that's outside of World of Warcraft that we can get together to do. There's a lot of online resources for games and whatnot, like uh, Cards Against Humanity. Um, uh, Jackbox TV, Among Us, different stuff like that that we can get together and do to just sort of mingle as a community and not just a game. For sure. Definitely. Yeah, Scott, no, that was a good question. Yeah, we definitely want to do some other stuff outside of the box, you know, other than just raiding in dungeons all the time, for sure. As you said, it'll probably be kind of hot and heavy, uh, giggity. Uh, at the beginning of Shadowlands, you know, for a little bit. But once it calms down a little bit, like you said, you would definitely want to get some stuff like that um, organized and situated. Yeah. Um, one thing to add on top of the talk of Shadowlands launch, um, please don't burn yourselves out on the game. It's, it's a weird time for it to launch. Um, it is the holiday, you know... Uh, we will be starting off on normal, so the gearing expectations won't be super, super tight. Um, so, you know, don't don't feel pressured to like be on the game all the time, doing things all the time. Um, really, just prioritize enjoying the game at your own pace, and sort of use that to bring the other guild members in together to enjoy it with you and I think everyone will have a much better time and increase the longevity of the first portion of the expansion um, because it's very common for people to go hard and go ham at first and then burn out um, and then you know by time by time we're sort of finishing up a raid tier people don't really want to play the game anymore because it's a lot. <laughs> um, Raid so, yeah. tier does go quite a while too. So the bad yeah. games up there, it's easy to get burnt out. Yeah, that's why we, a lot of us run alts. A lot of us run just fun stuff all the time. So remember, we're here to game and have fun. So it's not yeah. like another job. We don't want to make it be another job. So yeah. So don't feel like it is. Um, and that's also another reason why we want to bring outside of World of Warcraft stuff into the mix. Very well said. Very well said. Scott, again, good question. Anybody else have any questions or comments here? I'd just like to say like, this is the first time I've actually hopped on Discord. I've spoken to you a few times, Goat, but uh, it's really nice to see how much uh, the officers in the guild really put the work in to sure. make this all succeed. So, you know, coming from me being this, uh, this is the first time talking to everyone, hearing everyone, uh, it, it is something I appreciate and it, uh, yeah, Look definitely. Forward to gaming with you guys. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's good. Uh, good, you're able to hop on. And like I said, we're recording it, so people that could make it tonight, they'll be able to listen and hopefully feel the same way you do too. But yeah, goal is to have fun, play the game, get shit done, maybe eat some yeah. peaches. I would say like, it's awesome that you're jumping on. Like, it's probably one of my favorite things is like hanging out with people in Discord. Like, I really encourage people to like. Not like don't force yourself to be active, but like check out the Discord, jumping in a voice chat. If you're not comfortable talking, it's just it's just cool to be there listening in, right? Um, if you want to talk and engage, that's also great. Um, but it does help that build that community atmosphere, right? Like ninety, I would say ninety five percent of our engagement is done through Discord. Um, so if you're not using it semi actively, you are risking on a big chunk of our community. Yep, 
Um, and to add on to that, uh, to, to what Meiji is saying, um, to sort of help ease that uh, that nervousness people feel sometimes getting in, especially with people they don't know, you will almost likely find a majority of the time a officer will be in here um, for that very reason of us wanting to incentivize community and incentivize playing together and stuff like that. And you, So you'll always have somebody that you know in the channel to comfortably ease into a conversation or, in a, or a group activity or whatever. Um, so keep yeah. that in mind. Yeah. So that came over from ESO on the, from this guild. And like I said, there was only two or three people that were ever on at any given time. So it's it's nice to see the booming community kind of here. For sure. Definitely. Yeah, awesome. No, that's good stuff. Thanks, Joe. Go, don't you usually play some music in the channel too? Uh, well, I mean, I, I can, but no, <laughs> it's too late like now. Jukebox channel or whatever, right? Oh, oh website. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do have a music serenade us goat. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what did I miss? Was I singing the other night? I don't remember. Goat, you know you want to. Yeah, I know, right? Waffles. I'm like, oh, I think I've only sung like twice, but um, but yeah, no, Scott, we do, yeah, we do have a music channel, uh website that people can listen to as well kind of if they're grinding or just at work even uh there's a safe for work mode on there uh it's basically you just kind of share or play various youtube videos and everyone's kind of a different dj um but i'll put that link in uh, discord as well did you say safe word uh safe for work oh, <laughs> oh wait. i mean uh, well, you don't want to tell what your what? safe word is oh <laughs> I mean, um, we know Julie Mays is peaches, but... So, w with that in mind, with everything talked about about Discord and whatnot, um, does anyone have any questions? If not, there is one other important docket topic to bring up that I'd like to bring up. Please bring up questions if you have any. I guarantee someone else has the same question. Okay. Um, so... With everything about Discord and, you know, trying to incentivize community and stuff like that, the bigger we get, the more chance there are for fe feathers to be ruffled. Um, so please keep that in mind that, you know, we are all adults and this is a place where sometimes personalities or egos can clash. So if you're ever uncomfortable around somebody or uncomfortable in a certain situation, um, you know, say there's a topic happening in the general chat of Discord that makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, don't just sit there and let it happen. It's very important to be open and communicative about things that are going on. Feel free to talk to an officer and say this happened or, you know, say, hey, this doesn't make me super comfortable. Um, can we switch to a different topic of conversation? And, you know, if they do or don't, gauge your reaction off of that. All I'm saying is, Drama is not tolerated, period. Um, so just make sure to act rationally, act like an adult, and treat everybody with respect, especially in a uh, uh, voice over IP service, um, because we're all here to have fun. Yep. Yep, definitely. Well said. I know we have Acolytes rules posted somewhere, but I can't find it easily. Is it about Acolytes page up there? Yeah, it's like at the way <laughs> yeah, top, top of Discord. <laughs> That's why I brought it up because sometimes it's easy to miss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, no. Anyway, channel. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what James said. Also, you know, uh, we have our standard, you know, no politics, no religion rules as well, you know, in Discord and uh, in game. So just makes it easier for everybody. But yeah, no, thanks, James, for bringing that up. Uh, let's see, does anybody have any other last questions or comments before we uh, draw this to a close? Well, it was pretty quick. I only slammed one beer this time. So. <laughs> I <know>. um. <laughs> I guess uh, final note for everybody, we will be doing a uh, nitpick only channel in Discord. Um, submissions are welcome. Scott seems to be leading the charge. If you, uh, For those uh, viewing at home on YouTube, if you type exclamation mark jailer into Discord, you'll have a nice little treat from Scott. 
<laughs> I, I definitely created that on my own. Yep. Why is there not an exclamation not mark Baconator? Uh, Don't worry, it'll happen. Very true. Yeah, we, we can, can make one. Can force it. You can't like force it. It just has to happen. Right? Yeah. 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 Organic. The bacon is natural. The bacon is everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that, uh, you know, came into Discord tonight, hang out. And like I said, you know, don't be shy. Hop in Discord. Like Mangy said, we're, each night we're hopping in Discord just hanging out. If we're playing WoW, playing another game. So don't be shy. Come hang out. And uh, yeah, we look forward to Shadowlands launch. And tomorrow starts the Scourge event. And we're not talking about Mangy. It's an actual event in game. <laughs> <laughs> Like yep. that. He just happens to be the main antagonist. <laughs> mm -hmm. What what is the le eye level of the uh, gear for the scourge thing? One hundred, one hundred, yeah. Yep. Equal to um, Nihilus and normal gear, which is a great time for if you are looking at playing a different class for Shadowlands or anything like that. Um, but you want to see how they perform in, in a raid environment. Um, a really great time to grab some of that gear before the 17th when we have our last hurrah raid um uh that way you can really get a get a an okay gauge of how that class will perform and feel in a raid environment definitely or dungeon all right yeah, oh there yeah, are other. dungeons. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we're running dungeons each night, uh, each week. So if you need help with anything or quests or any of that, just let us know. And if you can make the raid on the seventeenth, uh, feel free to go sign up in the text channel there. Even if you can't, there is an option to say you are, you will be absent or you'll late or etc. So feel free to use that. And I think uh, uh, on that note, we also. If you will be having the Raider uh, title and guild, uh, you probably will be required to sign up or put your absence on there during uh, live raiding. So, yes, with, yep. As Nebu said, that's 100% uh, right. Um, you will need to sign up. If you are not signed up on Discord, you will not be invited to the raid um, coming into Shadowlands. Um, that way, it's just the reason for that is because. It's consistent. It lets me know what's going on. It lets me plan the bosses ahead of time um, and all that jazz. And also, you know, it's something we worked hard on and should be used. Um, and if you are going to be absent for any reason, uh, this is within my raid rules section. Um, if you read it, uh, you are not required, but do the decent human being thing and let us know you're going to be absent so we can plan ahead if possible. Um, you know, emergencies do happen, um, but you know, we're all here to, we're all spending money and our time and stuff to play this hobby and, uh, just respect your fellow raider and let us know what's going on if possible. You don't need to say what you're doing, just say you're going to miss the raid. <laughs> yep, definitely. Yeah, it just helps, uh, James and others kind of, you know, plan ahead, obviously, for raids, so... Okay, yeah, if nobody else has any questions or comments, um, yeah, we can go ahead and uh, end the meeting. But like I said, uh, just reach out if you have any questions, and yeah, here's the Shadowlands. And remember, if you break any of these rules, we'll have Naboo kneecap you. <laughs> <laughs> I am the jerk of the bunch, though. So. No, you're not. Yeah, you tell them, Waffles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. bye. Oh, freaking Stregonona. Oh. <laughs> Stregonona. I was waiting for that. Is the mic off? Uh, it depends. What are you going to say? Recording. No, what are you going to say? No, Julie? not me. Are you still recording? I don't know. It depends. What are you going to say, Julie? No, no. I'm not going to say anything. It's just uh, like, oh, we need Strike and Nona for the video. <laughs> no, I'm you don't. I'm still recording. It's okay. <laughs> Julie, Julie, just say uh, made in Georgia. Made in Georgia. Thank you. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Oh, you clip. like hyped it up and then it's like. It's a clip for his Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> It's a sound yeah, sample. It's a uh, yeah, sub sub notification. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, okay, good, good, yeah. No, it was good. Yeah, Waffles said Nick Jonas nipples in, in uh, Discord, but she didn't say it in voice, so it didn't, uh, you know. Oh, that's funny. So no, I'm sorry. What? Look, Nick Jonas nipples, it's an illegit meme, okay? <laughs> Seriously, just Google a picture of Nick Jonas nips, and you will understand. Not, not hey. <laughs> <laughs> totally doing it right now. <laughs> we'll probably have a picture of it here in a minute. Yeah, some, he's got some <laughs> humongous nipples. All right. Um, sorry, go ahead, Waffles. What were you saying? Sorry, I you was have a just going to say I had a friend <laughs> scar me for life by seeing that, so now I'm spreading the joy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I'm scarred as well. Those are gigantic. Photoshopped. They're big old. Oh, they ones. are not photoshopped. Humongous. Oh my God. 